Welcome to the NES Classic. I know it's been a long time since I did a video. I was working on another YouTube channel, which I will be introducing here in a video pretty soon. But anyway, the last video I did was about the NES Classic that I got ordered from China. This is the actual official one. That'll be much better. And this is the first time I'm trying it, so we're seeing it as I'm playing it for the first time. But here's all the games it comes with. Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghost and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber. Oh, I guess it's got the name right at the top. I didn't see that. I was trying to read the name off the, the Gradius name off the, the uh, like cover photo. Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, or some say Ninja Gaiden. I always call it the I think it's officially pronounced Ninja Gaiden, but I always said Gaiden. Pac-Man, Punch-Out, formerly known as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Star Tropics, Super C, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Techno Ball, Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Most of these games I have down either downloaded on my Wii or on cartridge, like Game Fight, I have downloaded, I have Bubble Bobble Plus downloaded, I have Cat all three Castle well they only got two Castlevanias, but I got both of those downloaded. I have this one downloaded. I do not have Donkey Kong Jr. I do have this one. I've got the cartridge of Dr. Mario. I have the cartridge of Excite Bite. I have Final Fantasy downloaded, I have Galaga, or no, I've never played Galaga. Ghost and Goblins I have downloaded, never played Gradius, I've never played Ice Climber, never played Kid Icarus. I do have Kirby's Adventure downloaded, I do have Mario Brothers downloaded, I've got both the first two Mega Man games downloaded, I have Metroid downloaded, Ninja Gaiden I have downloaded, Pac-Man I have downloaded, Punch-Out I have downloaded, I've never played Star Tropics, I have Super C downloaded, I've got all three of these Mario games downloaded, I've got this downloaded, I've got both Zelda games downloaded, so every game that I've mentioned I have downloaded, I've already done a video on it, so let's just take a look at So it jumps right into the title screen. The controls are pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can exit this. Okay, there's no... You can't really exit using the controller. You can pause it. I guess you have to hit the reset button on the console. And it's giving you the option to save it. I want to try something here. I want to see if I, like, how far I can get to save the game. I'm going to... I'm going to focus on games that I've already done before. These games that I haven't done, I'm eventually going to be doing a video on them. I'm going to play just a little bit. 
the controls are pretty good. So let's see, now I'm going to guess I have to hit the reset button. And press down. And I can save my file. So I guess it looks like up to four people can play their save a file. And it shows right on the screen there, that blue dot. Shows how many files are saved, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna try saving a second file. And Okay, so I guess apparently you can save two files when you can go to your game, press down, and you can choose which game to play. So that's pretty cool. You got a family of four who all want to play the same game. You can save your progress just by hitting the reset button on your console. Then you can choose to save it. Now, let's see if we can erase these. Select. Oh, there you go. You just move it over to the trash can. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. Okay, so I gotta press select. And then I move it over to the trash can. Press A. That's pretty cool. I thought it would be a good idea to do... I just bought these, the NES Classic and the Super NES Classic yesterday. And I thought this would be a good time to play them. This is Nintendo's 129th birthday. The company was founded on September 23rd, 1889. So... I thought, why not jump back to my old channel and my original channel and get back to doing some videos. I also have tons of cartridges, probably like 20 or 25 that I haven't done videos on yet. And now we have all these NES Classic games that I haven't done yet, such as Donkey Kong Jr., so you can look forward to seeing that. I'll be doing Galaga. I'll be doing Gradius, I'll be doing Ice Climber. Most of these games I've already done. Star Tropics. And it looks like that's it. And there's also a bunch of cartridges I have that I can play on my... I can either use my NES or my Retro Duo. I usually use the Retro Duo because, you know, it works a little bit better, so... Anyway... That is the NES Classic. Let's take a look at this stuff up here. I could switch like the CRT filter. Not sure what that is, but it looks like it puts lines in your screen, which we don't want. That will probably give it the old classic look from the 80s. 4.3 is what we have now. Pixel Perfect. Not sure what that does, but it looks smaller. Options. So if you want to delete all your files, I guess you can reset the factory settings. Got language, English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Netherlands, Portuguese, and I'm not sure what the last one is. Legal notices, and then blah blah and all that. Uh, 
Oh, nice. That's kind of funny. I didn't feel like putting it all in, all in there, so they're like, yeah, you're on your own, fool. But yeah, I feel like it's going to be, I can tell you, it's much better than the one I got from China, that bootleg thing. When it said 500 games, I thought it was going to be like 500 officially licensed NES games, and they're all hack, jink, hack games. Half of them didn't work. So... What's that? Okay, how do I not save that? Well, I guess I'll save it. I'll select it and move it to the trash. There we go. So anyway. That's the NES Classic. Hope you enjoyed it. I plan on doing a video on the Super NES Classic next.